guys, my box is fun. Today I'm going to have, not a review, not an unboxing, but it's going to be one of my other disassemble or changing housing um, videos here. Um, I've actually changed the housing before and this is the new housing as you can see. Um, I had to ch take it off by force, but I'll tell you how to take it off the proper way. So as you can see my new housing, and I'll just go around it if I just show you that here. Just a new, new housing. You can see there. Okay, and today I'm going to try to change it. The first thing you want to do is you want to open the back of the phone here. No, the first thing you want to do is you want to take take the battery out of the phone. So you do pull it out and you take it to the side. So yeah, one second. Memory card just popped out. Put my memory card back in. Memory card doesn't really need to be worried at this moment at this stage. Yeah. Once you've done that. What you have to do is you have to take the screen off like a sticker. The screen tape comes off like a sticker. So I'm going to use a tool. It might look hard if you take it off the first time. I'm doing it the second time. So hopefully it'll be easy. So you just take it off from the bottom. Like that. From here. You don't take it off from the side, okay? And then you just put it. I'll show you how you do that. You just put it right off. Right there. Okay, so it comes like a sticker. Yeah? Uh, it's sticky, yeah, so you don't want to end, get any air residue in there, so you just leave it like that. The library will, become, will now look like this, something like that, yeah? So once it's like that, you have to do the two screws, which are located in here, so that screw there, and that screw there. I don't know how that got dirty, but if you can clean it, you can clean it, but I'm not. So... If I just do that, it doesn't fit. <laughs> Sorry for the weight. Sorry for the weight. Sorry for the weight, right? That's just the post. I'll just open that. There we go. Come in. Hopefully. Yeah. Right. So turn that out. The screw one out. Take the second one out, if you can see there. We'll take that one out as well. I actually put it in like really hard, tightly. So, sorry. So my so when I type here, it's really, really, so it's like really responsive. Because sometimes when I type, it's not responsive. So, um, two screws will come out, as you can see here. So I'm doing a very, very clear um, this thing here. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to turn on the back, and you'll find two screws at the bottom here. These two screws here and here, you have to take out. Uh, I have a kind of fat screwdriver for that because one screw in there is like a bit hard to get out. So, yeah. And one to get out here. Out there. Okay, um, if you want to clean, let's hold you the screen a bit. I'm going to clean it now, so I'll just use a bit of cloth to go over it, nothing big really. Okay, it's cleaned, I cleaned it. Once you clean it, you can just remove the top part of it, the top bezel, okay, like this. So you want to get from one end, you can do it with your hands, no problem. You just lift up, like, oops, like that there, and this plastic is not like the 8520 plastic when it's really like really 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 tough and durable this plastic is actually actually not durable okay so it will come from like that and then your keyboard will come off of that and you'll lift the blackboard like this okay like this you lift the blackboard like this so that is how your blackboard will look okay um, as you can see screen crystal clean because I never touched it in my life I'm just going to wipe it now. Obviously, if you want to do a full housing replacement, I might do that one day, but you have to take out these two screws there, and then you can take the middle bit off, like an, like an A520. But that's how you take the housing off, okay? Now, as you can see how it looks, the top bit comes off as well. So the top bit, you can get changed as well. So I'll show you there, the top bit, that's the housing. 
the top big game chain. I was kind of worried because that would be dirty and rubbery. So I was like, this, I, I bet that's going to stay on. But no, it didn't. So I'm going to show you how to put all of that together now. That's the easiest bit, isn't it? <laughs> Joking. Uh, what you do is you just go inside that and then you just slide it inside like that. So you just put it in there, slide it, and then press it in there. But first of all, I need to put my, I forgot to put on, my keyboard. So I just stop rushing. Just be a bit patient before my phone breaks for YouTube people. Uh, there. And just slide it in, like so. And I'll just press it in. Like that. Oops. Ooh, wrong mistake, wrong mistake. Sorry, guys, sorry, guys. Oh, wrong mistake, wrong mistake. Right, what I have to do first is you have to, like, kind of tuck it inside. So, like, I'm gonna, like, if I just, this is gonna be really clear because you don't, you won't really understand what I'm trying to say. Um, I'll just have to put the keys inside here. Yeah, so inside. And then once it's inside, you can see that the key is actually blocking the screw. So, what I have to do is I have to, I have to tuck it outside in, if you understand what I'm talking about. So, I'll show you how to do that. I have to do that. That's right. See, it has to be like that. So, when you're doing it, the screws must be aligned. The um, keys must be aligned exactly where I am doing. Can you see how it's just like not there touching that? So there. And then, and then once you've done that, you get this, and then you just slide it on like that. Mm -hmm. So you just slide it on, and then you click it into place. So click it into place. into place I mean you can people might be like oh what am I gonna buy this but what am I gonna buy housing to, housings from all of that this is my previous housing um I changed it obviously and it's my previous screen it's really scratches on it and I had to break it in half because I didn't know how to do it but now I figured out how to do it on myself so thank you for me for that guys um, and I'll just show you we can clean it now so I'm gonna clean it as you can see there's dirt, dirt, dirt around the trackpad didn't know if it'll go but I'll try and clean it Clean the screen. Okay, top bit. So as you can see now, all of it's clean. What I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna put the screw back. So now when you come to putting the screw back, you have to put it in the right order. So I have to do which one is which. So what I'm gonna do first, um, I'm gonna put the black screw. I think it was the black screws in there. Yeah, it was the black screws in here. I don't, I don't actually know, but I'm just trying to do a little guess. Yeah, probably the black screws in there. So I'm gonna put the black screws back in here. Can't remember now if it's black screws or whatever screws. The only way I remember, I remember is like this thing here. So if I just yeah, it's the black screws. <laughs> So I'll just put that in there. And I tighten it like really tighten. Okay. But I don't want to tighten it, over tighten it and break the phone. It's the the foot the screw mechanism. So I'm gonna tighten it to just get that, that tightening satisfaction. Okay? Once you've done that you put the two back screws in. So you put the first back screw in. Which I don't know. I think is this screwed over here. Oh crap, I just think, I think I used the wrong screw. Hmm. Me, yeah, I used the wrong screw, sorry guys. Um, <laughs> so I have to unscrew that. So guys, whatever, whatever I said I'm wrong, okay? Do not put the black screws in there. I, don't, I know some of you people might rec um, might forward my video and be like, um, yeah, yeah, whatever, this guy's talking crap. But um, if you did, then that's a mistake to you because um, you put the the metal screws here. The silver screws first, okay? And the back screws at the back. So if I just grab my screwdriver, wherever it went, and um, you put the silver screws, okay? So there, and then you just want to tighten that in. Uh -oh. Yeah, now it's tied it in properly, because the other one before, they were like, well, I was like, what the hell is it doing? Should I break my blood or something? But anyway, I don't really care if, I've, if my library breaks because I have insurance from um, Fred to you, so, so that's, that's cool. 
If you break, give you a new one. Mm-hmm. And if you break in America, let's see if I give, I give you a new one. Okay. Okay, everything's clacky and clicky. The second thing you want to do is you want to clean the screen. So, I'll clean it with my shirt. Or, or cloth. You get your screen here. And then you just place it on there like that. So, I'll show you. Put it on there and then you just align it and then you squeeze down. And it has to go on every corner. Well, I mean that like that. If you press down every corner to make sure there's sticky residue, it's actually sticking down in every single corner. So once you've done that, you'll feel the phone is different. And then you just screw the two at the back. Like so. Where's the other one? This is a nightmare, isn't it? Um, one there. Let me see that. One there, sorry guys, one there. I can't actually seem to find another screw anyway, so I'm a bit, yeah, a bit effed. If I can't find another screw, then I'm dead because I don't know what the screw is. So, as you can see, there's no starting of a screw. Let's find it. Nope, no starting of a screw. So let me know if I'm on eBay. That's my life. But anyway, once you've done that, this is how it looks. Um, you, you put the battery in, obviously. The usual thing. That. Put the battery in. And then you put the back cover on. And obviously, your Blackberry phone is alive. And that's how you change your housing on a Blackberry Curve at 9320. Um, I think, I don't know where my screw is, but let me just check. Um, I'm just gonna, like, talk to you for this video first, and I'm just gonna tell you my successful tips on the Blackberry. Well, the Blackberry, this Blackberry, <laughs> this Blackberry here has been not in such a good Blackberry. Um, for other people, for to, for a um, good comparison to the 9520, um, I think that this BlackBerry here that I have is very, very good. I mean, and it's cheap as well, but 